Hey guys, Taz here from Macro Express. Today we're going to be discussing the Aqualogic DC series thermostat, the setup process, and how to optimize it for ultimate performance. So for this example, we're using the Aqualogic DC series unit with a pre-wired four outlet power board. This allows for easier functionality, easier replacement of heaters, and it allows you to move the, move the unit around as you need. Quite often the Aqualogic units or some of our other Aqualogic unit um, or Aqualogic setups uh, have pre-wired Shego titanium heaters pre-wired into the unit. Um, as I said, for this example, we'll be using we'll be using a four outlet power board. This does not alter the setup process. The process is nevertheless the same. Now, whilst to some it may be a pretty obvious, um, pretty obvious uh, step, um, you will need to plug, if, if you're using this particular unit, you will need to plug the heaters in to the, um, into, into your um, power board. If your heaters are already wired into the unit, you can completely skip this step. For this example, we'll just be using one heater. Before plugging in your unit, please remember to untie and untangle the cord should never use a cord while it's coiled. Next, plug in the unit. Now let's begin configuration. Before, before we go through this process, please understand your unit will not be flashing like this and it will appear still to the naked eye. The reason for this flashing is due to the delay in frame rate between the camera and the way and the light inside the unit itself. It's simply a camera issue and is not a u an issue with the unit itself. Now, in this case, the unit has already been set to heat, as you can see, the orange snowflake. If this is not the case and your unit has not already been set to heat mode, please hold the set button down for eight seconds. The set, the unit should then display zero. Please press set again, and it should display SP. Scroll down until you find D zero. As we can see, we've found D zero. Click on here, and you would simply change cooling over to heating, simply like that. Press set, and your unit will flicked over. To return to the home screen, press set and the down arrow at the same time. It will now be returned to display. When your unit is heat in heat mode, an orange snowflake should, be dis should display in the top left of your screen. Now we've been returned to zero, press set again, go to set point, and set your and we will now change the temperature over to Celsius. To do this, we'll locate, navigate to P0 and change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. As we can see, it's now clicked over. Once you've changed it to Fahrenheit and Celsius, you'll then want to set your R1 and R2 set points. In our example, we want the temperature to be 27 degrees. Navigate to R1. R1 is your minimum set point. We'll now adjust R1 to 26 degrees, one degree below our desired temperature. We'll now adjust R2 all the way down all the way down Twenty-eight, one degree above our desired temperature. Once this has been configured, your unit should be ready for use. As you can see, our unit is heating, and we're at twenty-seven degrees. Thanks for watching. 
If you'd like some more detailed instructions on this process or any other questions or issues with the unit, please feel free to contact us, call us or email us or simply message us on Facebook and we'll answer in a timely manner. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this short video. Please like, comment down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Enjoy your unit and thanks for shopping with AquaExpress.